the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Hey everyone, Times Arms here bringing you another Halo 4 multiplayer video and this time I am just going to bring you an update with my channel. But hey, how have you been? How have you been? It's been a while since it's been one on one, you and I, doing this video. It's always been sort of like a dual com or a tri com in the last few weeks or a month or so. And yeah, it's been a while since I've actually got to talk to you by myself. What is this purpose, um, the purpose of this video, if you will? Really just to show you, or tell you, rather, what's going on with my channel, and what I feel about it, and the whole shebang, if you will. Okay, so I was talking with a YouTuber yesterday, a fellow YouTuber, small channel, and it really put things in perspective. I mean, I've always been this way since the beginning, I've told you guys this, but it's always nice hearing another opinion, and another opinion that's reassuring. So, we were talking, and it's sort of, uh, where's, it's sort of like I let this channel sort of, eh, you know what I mean? I sort of let this channel go. And it's not that I dislike doing this whole thing again, but whenever you're a small YouTuber and you're doing your thing, or, you know what, it's, it doesn't even just, it's not even relegated to just small YouTubers. Big YouTubers, or who the, the carpenter building shit. Or people fucking scooping poop out of the sewers or whatever. It can always become daunting on you. You know what I mean? It could always become overbearing and almost too much. Especially when you have a life. You're a human. You're obviously doing other things. You have a life. It can become daunting. And I never wanted it to be like that. One of the things I've always said before when I started doing this whole YouTube thing. I'm doing it because it eases uh, or it, it it makes things normal for me. It restores sanity to my living, if you will. And when I was at the time I first started doing this whole recording, and I believe my first video was titled "Hail Reach: My Introduction," at least the, me talking to you all. I I said that it was sort of because I was working at this job at this time, and this job was shitty. And let it be known that customer service jobs. They don't pay great. Uh, the the typical retail stores they don't pay great, or even restaurant work they don't pay great. But they're w some of the worst jobs out there. And maybe it's because you don't enjoy, they they don't realize that I don't know. Maybe it's because a monkey can do your job, and so they don't value you. But this video is not about jobs. But I was working a job at the time that I hated and. This sort of restored a sense of normalcy to my life. Is that the proper word? Eh, whatever. You guys know what I mean, right? And so many times, y I've seen so many channels. Not just channels that I've contacted to work with, but random channels that I would go and see what they're doing. Small channels. Heck, even big channels do this sometimes, but I'm mainly referring to small channels. They're just really doing this whole YouTube thing for the fame. They're doing it to get big. I've seen a couple guys say... Oh, you guys need to help me get partnered by Machinima or this network or whatever, what have you, yada, yada, yada. Guys, I have to get partnered, yeah. And I'm like, wow, you guys really are doing this for the wrong reasons. And I can only wonder how it is for you guys to actually produce content. And what you, what do you guys think about before the thought process before you actually put words to a gameplay? What is your thought process if you're only doing this to get famous? You know what I mean? And... You, you see it all the time, and I, I was talking to this small YouTuber yesterday, and he, he put put it in words that I can't say, or that I've never thought of before. He put it so succinctly, though, and although I don't necessarily agree with it entirely, I, I sort of get what he's trying to say. He said something to the tune of, if I ever get big, I would feel guilty about it because I started doing this as a hobby, and... Obviously, we and this this isn't him talking. This is me talking now, and this is not me talking to him. But this is me talking to you guys again. Ah, I'm going everywhere with this video. But if I were to get big, you obviously never know where what what you would be like if you were to be surrounded by that sort of popularity or what have you. Whether it be in a music industry or entertainment industry or YouTube industry, I guess it is now. But I don't think that I would be like that. I don't think I'll be one of those people who just did it all for the fame and all for that. I think I would still be like I am now. The 
the occasional one-on-one -on -one video, if you will, while just doing my Let's Plays and what have you. Uh, it, it's really, I guess, sort of... It's therapeutic for me, and I enjoy it. And I wouldn't change a damn thing about it. The only thing I would really change if I got partnered would be the frickin' thumbnails that are required by everyone now. Or you guys have to have an awesome thumbnail. And that would take more work than the frickin' videos themselves. It's, it's like, come on. But anyway, yeah. So, this whole thing has been, eh. And I've gotten some uh, advice on what to do with my channel. One video a week. Hey, they, that, that's starting to look more acceptable to me. One video a week. I, I think I've taken five days off now, and before I uploaded my last five parts to Halo 3 ODST, I think I took five days off before that. And I've noticed an, an astute drop in my, um, or a sharp drop in my views and subscription rate. And you know what? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Why? Because I'm I'm doing this because I enjoy it, you know? And I hopefully the people who do stick around, stick around with my channel, enjoy what I'm doing. I'm I'm obviously open to everything, uh, or well, not everything. I'm open to a lot of things. I'm open to a lot of suggestions, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to talk about this situation here and I told the this fellow small YouTuber this. There was this there's a couple situations where people give you advice and they think that advice is the holy grail, and if you don't take it, they get mad at you, you know what I mean? They get mad at you. If, if I don't take your advice, or if I ignore you as this so feller thought that I did, um, don't take it personally, you know what I mean? It's just that there's a lot, especially w when you're a small YouTuber, but you get somewhat noticed, there, there are a lot of things contacting you, a lot of people contacting you, say, hey, do this, hey, do this, hey, can I play with you now, can I play with you now, and it's like, come on, man, it's like, come on, and maybe is some of it's on you, yeah, but I, I'm going everywhere with this video, but I, I, I got some advice from someone, to, and I've gotten it from multiple people, but recently I got some advice from, from someone that um, said, you should become a news channel. What, 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 like, just say the all the new Halo news. Like, um, sort of how Halo 4 Follower does it. Or maybe, like, Ready Up Live does it. And then I was like, what, what's one of the things I've always said since the beginning? Since the beginning, over six or seven months ago now, that when I've said this shit, when I started doing this shit, I don't want to become a news regurgitation channel. I don't want to become a news regurgitation channel. That is easy to get subs by. I mean, oh, hey guys, uh, this new update is coming out, this new update is coming out, and yada yada yada, and people would obviously be looking for it, and rightfully so, rightfully so, they're interested in that news, that new news, so they're looking for it, but I don't want to become completely, solely a news regurgitation channel, a new news regurgitation channel, just for my favorite games or what have you. I've never been about that. Now, if I if I want to if I want to share some news that I find interesting about a new game or maybe Halo that that I feel uh, that I feel good with, I'll probably make a video sharing the news. But I don't want to become solely a news regurgitation channel, and that's has, that has been some of the advice that I have received from a few people. You know, I have received that advice from a few people. Uh, I can't spit out my words in these last few sentences. But, and another thing, I, I, I'm not as sure that I'll be able to do all the new releases like I was in a couple videos prior where I said, yeah, I'm definitely doing all the new releases, guys. I probably, I, I don't know if I can do any of the new releases right now, game-wise, like Tomb Raider or what have you. But, I'll, I'll try to do as many as I can. But really, this channel is just because I enjoy it. And then again, I enjoy you guys that have stuck with me throughout this whole thing. I'm at 400 something subscribers, but now that I've sort of took in a seat back with this channel, it's it's more likely that there are only a few subscribers that are representative of this channel, and that's quite all right with me. I'm fine with building myself back up. If I ever do get big, I'll never take this shit for granted. Thank you all for joining me. See y'all later.